Welcome back to another Mobile Centrics Tips and Tricks. My name is Derek and today I'm going to be talking about the I2C programmer, specifically covering the proximity sensor assembly replacements and its amazing ability to allow you to save face ID with pretty much no soldering required. There are a couple other things that this can do that I'll talk about at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Let's get into the video. So maybe you're working on a phone and you damage the proximity sensor, or it's been water damaged and you have a three minute boot loop. Maybe the cable got punctured. Some component on the proximity sensor assembly has failed. Now, typically this means that you either replace the component and lose face ID, or you go through a tedious process of soldering over the proximity sensor to an original flex to restore face ID. Here I've got a proximity sensor flex cable by I2C that has on it basically all of the components minus the ear speaker. Now the ear speaker is extremely easy to solder over. There are two solder joints that are completely visible to the eye. No microscope is needed. A basic off the shelf Walmart soldering iron will work to be able to do this. Any tech that's doing a screen replacement can solder over the ear speaker. So that's an easy part. The typical hard part was soldering over the proximity sensor, like I mentioned before. In the past, there have been ways to restore face ID with a proximity sensor flex, but it always required desoldering the NAND in order to access the data. This completely eliminates that step. What this programmer allows you to do is to copy the serialization of the original proximity sensor and transfer it to this new proximity sensor flex so that you really don't have to do any soldering minus the ear speaker part. And that way you regain all of the functions of the proximity sensor without losing face ID. It's really simple. This just needs to connect to Wi-Fi. You plug in the phone, trust the phone to the device, have the original proximity sensor connected in the device, then it's as simple as going through a series of clicks on the programmer to read and back up the data, and then connecting the new flux, writing the data to that, and plugging it into the phone and you're done. Of course, solder and your speaker on to finalize the repair, but it's that simple where you can get proximity sensor replaced without losing face ID. One of the other functions that this can do is it can allow you to replace the cameras. Now you can always replace the cameras on the iPhones, but you get notifications that the camera has been replaced. Using this I2C tag on Flex, you'll be able to go through a similar process using software on a computer paired with the device to be able to replace the camera using a tag on Flex to remove the notification so that it appears to be the original camera. All this is done without solder work. In the past, in order to get rid of the notification for a rear camera replacement, solder work was also something that had to happen. Whether it was soldering a new flex cable to the back of the camera, or if you were doing a camera repair, you could replace the lens, which requires soldering, and a few other things. So having a programmer like this, along with the I2C components, is making these repairs that much easier. Leave your comments below if you have any questions. Of course, there'll be links in the description where you can get these. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.